Okay, so we are having some flower therapy at one of my favorite places ever, John Henry General Store. <laughs> and we are soaking in the beauty of all these flowers. Look at that, they've got black petunias. seen those. Amelia loves all the different stripe ones. They have so many beautiful hanging baskets here and they build a whole new pavilion I'm going to show you here in a minute. And then look at this. Look how beautiful that is. We're going to make purchases but we have, we're taking it in. We're taking the free flower show in it first. We are continuing our flower show tour. There's more of these. That means I'm going to get some of those. I just love flowers. You're and, the only one. and they love me. You're not alone. <laughs> we are not alone. I'm being told we are not alone. That is good. Those are so beautiful. See, they're talking to us while we're looking. Look how beautiful this is. Wow. I just absolutely love looking through all these flowers. Now they also had tomato plants. They had some vegetables here on this day. So we also need to get some of those, but these were beautiful, beautiful hanging baskets. Basically from $9 to $99, they were gorgeous. Definitely a fun way to support local businesses. So here's a look at what I got. Okay, so here's our first round of flowers. This is our flower loot, our flower therapy that is going home with us this afternoon. Okay, so here's our John Henry flower haul loot. We're gonna take a moment to get the big baskets hung up and drop off these flowers and then we're going back to Walmart. Okay, we've stopped off at home to drop them off. We got them hanging up. Now we're heading to Walmart. Okay, lunchtime update. We just hit Walmart up for some ferns and some garden things. We will be heading back home to work even though it's raining. Let me just show you. This is what I've been doing when I'm out and I want to eat and I'm on the go. Anyway, this is a big monster burger from Hardee's, but it's wrapped in lettuce. I'm going to find the layers of this now, but this is still on my little mama plan. So that was my mama lunch, a burger wrapped in lettuce. And now that we are back home, I can show you this is how beautiful, oh cute little piggy, this is how beautiful all the hanging baskets worked out. We got our ferns and our beautiful flowers and our pansy flag, life is good. And there's all the flowers that we are going to get in the green stock towers. Here's some new duck pools. And today's the day. So much of this cardboard that we have been stacking up, I'm going to get it down in the aisles of the garden because we are doing the wood chips in the aisles this week. Yay! Here's how the garden's looking from this side for a moment. Our poor little dome, it got crushed. Our um, dome that flipped into the woods, it's just falling apart. So anyway, we uh, do have some chickens in there though. Those will be future laying hens to add to our laying hen family, although I think I see one that's out right now. We're not gonna be able to move that dome as easily, but right now, temporarily, it's fine as far as those birds can be in there for a time. But besides that, I had my son who built it for me originally work on fixing it, and there's probably pieces that we can order to replace it, repair it. One thing we're gonna actually do is our trampoline. We get a couple years out of trampolines. We have had a trampoline, just that's how we raised all these kids because we always have a good trampoline. It's great for energy burners and all of those fun things. So our trampoline that we've had, I don't know, we might have gotten three years out of this trampoline. It's a pretty good run. Um, sometimes it's a year, sometimes it's two years. But that trampoline is done and we are going to do, I've seen tutorials floating around. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna make our old trampoline base into a movable chicken tractor also. So hopefully we can piece this together and then we're gonna have that big, it's like 16 feet across. Um, so we got a couple things we can limp along here. Okay, it is gently sprinkling, good time to work in the garden. We are going to put, got all kinds of farm yard noises. Here you go, we are gonna put all of our cardboard out, see if we have enough to actually do in between these beds here. Alrighty, so here is how it looks. We've had a nice continual rain. 
that has helped us. And you know what? It's not 100% perfect, but it is still making the most of what we have to work with. Travis it has uh, fixed his dump bed and he's going this week to get wood chips. And we are totally out of cardboard. And again though, this is good. And I am still going to put wood chips down in places where I have no cardboard because this is all the cardboard that I have. And then we will continue to have to apply wood chips like to this area because all of this is going to be garden and all of this over here to this other side is going to be garden. And I think we're actually, we've got how many would you say? Eight of those hay bales up there? Yeah, okay. So we've probably got eight or so big hay bales, and I'm going to actually use those in this garden area, upcoming upcoming garden things. Anywho, well, we also have, did I tell you this yet? Stop me if you heard this one. I believe I've got four or five more of those green stock towers that we're going to put into use. I've got many more of the fabric garden bags there. So projects are happening. So here is how all the cardboard worked out and looks in the pathways. We are going to get this covered with mulch. We have saved this cardboard for months and months for this big day, and this is a good start for us. Okay, just took the lid off my green stock, and a bird flew out, and look at what she was busy. She's got, looks like horse hair in there, some of her own feathers. So we're going to let her be, but I was going to work on getting these flowers in my green stock. Okay, so we apparently have enough good potting soil available that we can also start working on doing our new towers a bit. We won't have enough. We've got them all over there. We won't have enough for all of them tonight. We're just piecing that one together. That's actually the other half of this one that we're growing. And then here's my one from last year that I'm working on planting out with all the lovely pollinators. Getting that one set up pretty. So this one is turning out nicely. I did see Mama Bird. I haven't put the top little cover. I did see her go in and check on her baby eggs there. And then we have this one. We've got one more tier for the top of this. Okay, well we are putting the garden to bed tonight, looking slightly improved than how it looked when we came out. We have both of our green stock towers all filled out now. Those look super. We have the other four that we will work on tomorrow. A few more little flowers we haven't planted yet. I did have one of my folks go through and put Oops, sorry, my finger came up a little close there. Hi! <laughs> Put some more marigolds at the end of all the different beds. And so I don't know if Travis is going to go get the wood chips tomorrow. I know that that's a coming. So here's how the first two green stock towers turned out. Of course, those flowers are going to fill out even more as the season continues. But I'm really happy with getting both of those ready to go. And now we have four more towers to do. Now I think, let's get back to the food, right? I think I am going to do spaghetti tomorrow. We're good for tonight. We've got enough bumping around that's available. Excuse me for folks to eat and pull together for dinner. But tomorrow we are going to use our home canned ground beef and hold on, there's more, our home canned tomato sauce. And we will do a bunch of spaghetti. And even though I'm not eating like traditional noodles, I can do zucchini noodles or even cauliflower rice or other things with the sauce. We will make that big batch tomorrow. Boy, those hanging plants look so good on that porch. Even though this whole outside of the house needs a renovation, that's okay. The plants look good. I am happy. <laughs> I do want to. I was asking Travis, I was like, can we take these green shutters off the house? You know, when we bought this house, it was like 1970s yellow trim and old faded burgundy shutters. And so quickly in the pandemic with limited supplies and all figuring out what to do, we painted the brown and had the brown trim painted and put these green shutters up. And now I wanna do something totally different. So I was like, if we could at least get those down for now, that'll be good. We're not anywhere near doing outside renovations, but you know, I'm hopeful at some point in life. So I did ask for those jars to be brought up tonight. We will do that cooking though tomorrow. So still don't have mulch down, but all of these hostas have just come out to party. So thank you hostas all the way down there.
other happy things coming up in the garden. There's a fern. That's Virginia creeper. Mm-hmm. Another big hostess. Welcome, welcome. Yes, thank you, thank you. We love you, we appreciate you. Two things I do need to know in life though, help me YouTube friends. Travis said, ask, ask your friends on YouTube. So what's the very best grass seed? I'm like, well, what was it I was gonna ask? Over here, see? We got yard holes there. So Travis would like to know the very best grass seed. Please let us know. I would like to know that stupid poison ivy coming up in my beds around the house. I see it, I know it. See three leaves, you let it be. And I see it and it's so nasty. How do I naturally get rid of poison ivy? I can't put Roundup on it, you know, can't do, can't put stuff like that on it. So naturally, can't burn it, <laughs> you know. So how do we get rid of poison ivy? <sighs> I mean, I guess what? Do I just wood chip it down? Will that kill it? Will that do it? Because I'm about to be wood chip rich here in a few days. Will that help? Hey, look, this is my bed beside the house. That is all poison ivy, poison ivy back there. So that's a rose bush, there's a hostess. We got wonderful lilies, We've got a big butterfly bush. We gotta do these beds here too. There's a Rosa Sharon, hostess, hostess, hostess. It's not down here, but it's in that one area. Good morning, friends. Cat is crying and it is coffee o'clock. Happy day, friends, another day, but look at this. I wanna show you this. It's only 1 p.m. and we got full sunshine on the new garden area and last year's garden area the sun is shining this is exciting and so today i'm going to work on getting those other three green stock towers done we've got a bunch of school done and stuff this morning i have two kids old older kids old kids finishing stuff up and travis is bringing a load of potting soil and such over here that we're going to unload all right so we have this one done and we did that one over there, that one over there. We did those two yesterday. And now I'm coming up here. I had to send Travis to Walmart for more potting soil, but we are going to do this last one that is in the middle of where the new garden space will be, and it's all gonna work out just fine. And I did talk to my friends at Greenstock, and they let me know these garden Greenstock towers are really their best on porches and concrete slabs and of course I'm here just putting mine out in my garden so we're going to need to go back and Travis is going to help me get some sand and pavers and we're going to level them properly that's Travis's jam I only know about planting flowers but just so you know if you're placing these in a garden area they still need to be leveled and as Greenstock told me if they're not leveled it can interfere with them properly watering the lower portions of the tower. So for now, I'm continuing to hand water. I'm not having any issues yet, but I do know that needs to be done. All right, we've got this little spinner getting in our shadow too. This is the first layer done. This is our sixth one we're doing in 24 hours. So we've got a pretty good system. <laughs> Liam has been helping me. And uh, you're supposed to, you fill your dirt, fill them full of dirt, fill them full of flowers, and then stack them as you go. Well, friends, Today is Mama's going to get her hair done. It's raining outside. Lots of stuff happening. Dishes, we're getting to that. I'm still going to make spaghetti, big batch spaghetti. We're gonna get, work on getting that going this morning with our home canned tomato sauce and our home can, can grass-fed, pure and holy ground beef, as I like to call it. We're gonna get that going and then we will have a couple days of Big batch spaghetti. I guess I've called you all here today and I think I already mentioned this in this video. I need to have a meeting, okay? I need to have a meeting with you. I just know all the work that I'm putting into this course right now. I know how much it's taken out of me and I can really feel myself like usually as we do our weeks and as I do my mama things and as I film my videos, I have a plan and things generally work out, okay? But with adding in doing this Successful Business Mama course, as we all know, and as we get into in the course, there is only, you know, you gotta pick and prioritize so many hours a day and all that. And I feel the need again to say, my videos are going to be extra scattered 
over the coming weeks as I finish out this project. Like this is supposed to be a large family meals of the week video and I don't even know what y'all got, okay? <laughs> but I did get 19 videos for my course filmed in two days. And coming up the end of this week, I will have another day and a half where I can really focus on my course videos. Usually during that day and a half, I focus on big projects and big filming for YouTube. So anyway, I guess I'm just saying thank you for bearing with me while I do this project. Yeah. It's gonna be like, two videos a week and I don't even know what we're gonna be getting. So thanks for coming to my meeting. These are just things I feel I needed to say this morning. So I'm gonna get this spaghetti going now. It's Tuesday and it'll be big batch spaghetti for definitely Tuesday and Wednesday. So freezer meals to help me. <clears throat> we have breakfast freezer meals and that's what the kids have been utilizing unless they make something different. You know, we got all ages and stages here and we have lunch freezer meals. Dinner freezer meals, I've got probably 12 or so slow cooker freezer meals, and I have those tuna cakes and salmon cakes we made. So we've got enough. Just saying, I can't take a lot of time in the kitchen right now. It's even taken me a few days to like get to where, and we have a rainy morning. Hey, I can do this. Before I leave for my appointment, I can get this going. But I need to set out several slow cooker freezer meals. So starting Thursday, we can just start running through those. So that'll be good to get those used. And that's my mama making food TED talk. And so here I am just running through real quick, getting my stove cleaned up before we start making this homemade, home canned big batch spaghetti sauce that's going to be dinner and meals for several days to come. Just being creative and swinging it a couple different ways. Yay! And another thing is that all of my tomato starts died. I am very disappointed, but we did, I guess I'm just gonna, you know, and trying to make the best of it. We did at least, we did at least get heat back this year. We did at least get grow lights up. Um, one of the improvements I need to make, I can already make a list of improvements for next year, is I really want to get my seeds started like early March. And that will give me time. It's it's time here. In Virginia, it's always like around Mother's Day. Now, we did have two frost last week. And I did. I, I'm sure I bought... I can't tell. I thought I lost all my strawberry plants. And now it looks like I have half to three quarters of that 50 there. So they, they, they're looking hopeful. Okay. But um, all those tomato seeds I started... <sighs> just I can I can blame myself for that um, as, as we can blame everything in the world on me okay but it can only get better from here and I was talking to my friend Becky from Maple Homestead and she told me that all the best gardeners have a lot of failures especially as you're in your early years getting going and that she had a lot of starts die early on her first year she tried and I'm just right on track for being a winner so maybe I will be a champion tomato grower now in Virginia there's just organic gardeners I can buy my starts from I do plan to still get a lot of seeds in the ground we have a great rain today so maybe this week I'll be going through so anyway we're improving all the time but I do want to make the announcement that all those tomatoes have gone to be with Jesus it was a short-lived process here. You know, I got them going and then I went away for seven days and then I came back. I did have folks water them and take care of them while I was gone, but couldn't get them back after all that. So now you know, now you know my tragedy with that. We will also use our freeze-dried peppers that we did last fall and our jar of freeze-dried squash. We'll get that into the sauce. Our sauce that we worked so hard for. So we are going to get all this tomato sauce in our pot here and go from there. And it is so fun to be able to whip up this big batch of homemade spaghetti sauce and have the ground beef already cooked and have the tomato sauce pretty much ready. We do have to, of course, add some different seasonings to it, but I take the time to do that as well. And it's a good thing spaghetti is super popular around here. So I did five jars of tomato sauce. I'm also going to add in some of our 
tomato water, tomato juice that we pulled off all those 380 pounds of tomatoes and processed. And I'm also gonna add in some beef broth because as we all know, my sauce is very thick and another time I will try to just have a, a thinner or a, a medium <laughs> thickness sauce, but that's okay. Here's how the sauce is looking. Yes, I'm stirring it upside down because I was using this end of my spoon to get my ground beef out, so I'm backwards right now. So I had drained my ground beef. Now it was canned with a beef broth basically, so I don't even know if that was necessary. This is, again, I'm learning how to cook with home canned ground beef and you're here with me for the process. So maybe I should, should have just dumped that in and it just would have been more liquid for the sauce. But there's all of our freeze dried squash and peppers and those will rehydrate while they cook within the sauce and make it super veggie filled and yummy. And also something I'm trying to learn about and slowly switch out, I'm doing Italian seasoning, but it's gluten free. And then this onion powder that I had from Sharp Shopper is also gluten free. So I'm just trying to switch out my seasonings as well. And so now I am just doing my old eyeball in school, dumping in all my seasoning method and uh, taste testing and adding more where needed from there. But everything is cooking up and looking so delicious. We have had a wonderful rain today. Everything is looking very, very beautiful and lovely. All the hostess are loving the rain. Yes, we will just get to mulching the hostess beds here in the coming weeks. Don't look at the weeds, haha, -ha, but the hostess are doing their job. There's some geraniums I got yesterday. I'm gonna get in those pots. Some more flowers that will find home in the homes in the coming days. And then over here in our little fire pit area, you know, I have a dream one day that all of this will be stone and we'll have a nice stone fire pit and hopes and dreams, right? But anyway, we got these pots done yesterday. One of the kiddos did those and they still have the hangers on them. I don't know that we're going to actually hang them. We might just remove those, but our whole little, we have lots of fire pits out here. We got to get that hammock going. Fun family times. And then wait till you see this. This hostess is just, my goodness, look, look at the size there. And then I just want to check in over here after the rain looking like it's coming together so nice so we took these old buckets yesterday that had holes in them we made a few of those into planters and then over here here's another one it'll still work great for flowers and here's how the green stalks turned out yesterday it was so hot when i was working on them but i watered them heavy last evening too so of course you know that's why we got the rain today roosters are talking to us and then I went ahead and did this one right in the middle of where this new garden area is going to be because there's no moving them <laughs> once they're full. Someone asked me too recently if I've ever had any of them flip over and I haven't. Um, this one has been here a full year now and we've never lost it so that's great. I also got a, I got two flats of tomatoes because you know my tomato story but that's okay we're gonna pick up and go from there and then these are peppers and then my strawberry plants I was telling you about so I did 50 of them between these two beds and so let's see well I know that is one but I did square foot gardening yeah that might be one um, so some places okay here's another little one there's one and I definitely see three here. And there's another. There's some seeds coming up. There's another. So I'm hopeful. There's another. Now I'm going to call them out. Now, now I'm seeing strawberry plants everywhere. But this one, the strawberry plants are definitely like they're bigger. <laughs> We're seeing them more. And then this is my sage coming back from last year. There's some more sage. Um, of course, we got marigolds going every, everywhere. And then onions, on, onions down, garlic, onions, all the things. So 
our tower looking nice and these will fill out like these flowers will be bushing out of here um, as we go and then I had we had to use the tarp for something else but on my pumpkin patch area which I'm going to expand down to where those containers are too I'm just gonna tarp it over the next week or so for that growth to die down and then we'll plant on top of that but that's our little <laughs> cover crop that's the sprinkler I was working with some last night um, folks have asked me how I water up here so we have hoses and such and then so many of we're calling them Daniel's dahlias Daniel planted a lot of these out with dahlias and then over here in this bed we have a lot of dahlias and other things that are planted. So I'm gonna run off now to get my hair done. Thanks for dealing with me. We did make the homemade spaghetti sauce. That's done, even though I'm leaving. The family has that for the rest of the day. You've seen garden updates, and you've listened to my talking it out. YouTube's gonna be less for a few weeks where we get the course done, and we're doing it. It's give and take, right? Okay, thanks for watching. I'll talk with you in those comments below. Bye-bye.